Today, I'm going to show you how you can set up an interaction for your Wix box item in your Wix editor. What's up you guys? Thanks for tuning in with your boy Nino and I got a tutorial for you guys today on how you can set up an interaction feature for your Wix box item in your editor. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of freestyle here, but uh, generally speaking, you want to be in your Wix editor. Now, this is not the Wix editor X, okay? This is the classic Wix editor that I'm in right now. So I just wanted to actually uh, let you guys know about that because I'm gonna be doing some more tutorials in the future about Wix editor X and it's cool features but for right now let's keep it classic all right because i like classic all right let's do this okay so today i'm going to be talking about wix boxes and wix boxes actually have a new interaction feature say goodbye to hover boxes say hello to just the regular box itself okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to pick one of my theme boxes okay i'm going to bring it over top of bread you know, got to get that dough. Uh, but uh, let's see, I'm gonna just bring it down here. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna resize it. That's uh, capabilities that you guys can do for your box. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna change this design. All right, I'm gonna customize the design and I'm just gonna have a no fill. Okay, so very transparent. Okay, uh, so got that happening and boom we have this new hover interaction feature here okay you guys want to just click on that it'll tell you how you can do it all right and then you have your interaction here okay this shows you a little bit more you can also learn more here uh if you need to but uh i'm just not gonna let that show again all right so right here you can add any elements to your hover okay this is a lot better than actually adding a hover box on there uh, because it gives you a lot more wiggle room to be creative with your animations, okay? And this is a hover animation. So you can click here to add on hover, okay? It will give you some features here. You can actually search this editor too, uh, but we'll get to that in future tutorials. So I'm gonna just come down to button, okay? and I'm going to get one of my theme buttons, okay? I'm just gonna bring this over and place it right down in here. Okay, so I got my button here. I'm going to place it down. Uh, let's see, I'm, I'm gonna style it up, okay? I'm gonna change this design a little bit. And just to be clear, okay, you guys, all this stuff that you're doing inside of this hover box, uh, template right here everything that you're doing inside of this box is going to be only predicated towards inside this box okay so that means if i change this button around right so say for instance i want to go ahead and make a new and improved button right so i'm going to go here i'm going to give it a little bit of taste all right uh, got some different features here that I can choose from I'm not gonna change that much you guys because you know be able to uh, talk about the Wix hover box and not just buttons if you guys want to know a little bit more about buttons I have like an old tutorial about buttons on here but I'm actually gonna be doing a new tutorial on uh, different types of ways and styles that you can have for your button so stay tuned for that uh, let's see so I'm just gonna go ahead and change this to impact. All right, um, it's pretty cool. You know what, let me let me just do jockey one. I really don't know, I'm just gonna go back to here and uh, pick which ever one of my theme fonts. Okay, so this will show up 50% that way. And then definitely we're gonna make this a little bit lighter uh, or darker, I would say, just to stand out. I don't know. I guess white would be the go-to right now. 
All right, so this is how it's gonna change on hover. I'm gonna get that shadow out of there. I don't want that shadow. All right, cool. Looks pretty professional, right? All right, so once you have that, okay, you'll see that you made this button, okay? So if you go back to your design, you'll see my buttons here, okay? Now, I just wanna just go through this real quick, all right, and that is when you click exit mode, right, it's not gonna show up, all right? Now, if you wanna edit anything on here uh, in the interactions, you just click edit and it will take you to the on hover uh, place, okay? But say, for instance, you wanna go here and you wanna add a button, okay? And you wanna add that same button, all right? So you go here, you'll click one of these buttons here, then you're gonna click design. Boom, my button shows up right there, okay? Now, that is a feature that I really do like, all right? Sometimes it may not show up uh, on your my buttons list, and it might just be showing up as strictly as that one inside of the hover box. So it's a little bit tricky, but I mean, they're making the corrections as I speak right now, so uh, hopefully in the near future, Wix will get a lot better with their hovering interaction. But this is a very new piece that they have put on here. And I think it does a phenomenal job, okay? So if you guys wanna see how this happens, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna bring in like some examples like this bread thing. All right, so I'm gonna bring these two inside the box. Okay. So I got it inside the box. I'm gonna go ahead and readjust it, make it centered. If you want, you can come over here and just uh, center it this way, um, just to make sure that your hover box is in the correct uh, alignment. Let's see, we're gonna go ahead and align that one more time like that. And then I don't wanna place this anywhere like that, so I'm just gonna align it up centered. Okay, so now that we have this hover interaction, okay, I wanna bring this back up, sorry guys. Uh, all right, so what we have here is an interaction, all right? So we're gonna go straight on over to our hover page, okay? Now, what we can do here is we can actually change the effects option and also we can change the design of the box, okay? So if you wanna go ahead here and add a little bit more color uh, to here and you don't want it to be too much but you wanna be subtle with it, you can make it 20%, uh, just so it can give that, you know, breadish look, okay, in, in this aspect, all right? Now, you can change more things about the effects of how it grows, shrinks, skews, or rotate. Or you can customize it to grow, shrink, skew, rotate all at the same time, okay? And you can actually keep these proportions, okay? And uh, you can actually rotate them, all right? And then also you can apply the relative uh, point on here. So if you wanted to say, okay, I wanted to uh, resize from this location of the box, right? And we want to, uh, let's see, rotate it on that, that premise. All right. So we're going to rotate this to about, let's say, uh, two degrees. Okay. Just give it a little rocky effect. All right. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to scale it up. All right, notice that I'm scaling up all that is inside of this box. So everything gets larger, okay? Now, if you guys don't want that to happen, all right, uh, and you see how it says keep proportions for the grow and shrink option, this is where you can actually shrink the width or just shrink the height, okay? You can shrink either or, and you can just press that and then it will show you both uh, the scale of width and the height, okay? Right now, I don't wanna do that. I wanna keep them all the same, okay? Uh, let's see, I'm gonna change this rotate. No, you know what, I'm gonna just keep it like that. I'm just trying to get, show you guys an example, okay? So these are the effects options for the box itself, for all of the elements inside of that hover uh, container, all right? So I'm gonna exit out of there, but also you can actually touch up on each individual item that is inside of the box, okay? So that means I want to go ahead and bring this through. So I'm gonna change the position of it. I'm gonna move it all the way to the front, all right? 
Uh, then I'm going to put it over here. Okay, you see how it straightens up for you so that then you can actually get the right alignment. All right, so I'm just going to do that and I'm just gonna align it up right here. I'm gonna change the text on there. I'm going to say, uh, uh, find out more. And it's gonna be a little bit too big, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Let's space it out just a tad bit. Find out more, all right, awesome. So now what I wanna do here is I wanna change this effect of the bread sign, okay? And I'm going to go ahead in here and shrink it. All right, I'm gonna shrink it all the way down to about 60, all right? And I'm going to choose this effect here and I'm going to go ahead and grow it. All right, I'm gonna customize that growth and I'm going to just grow it up a little bit more, 128. Okay, looking pretty good. Okay, so that is a lot of stuff that I just went through. You can also uh, add on the timing of it, okay? If you want it to ease in, ease out, this is more like an Adobe Premiere or uh, Premiere Pro like type of feature where you can ease in uh, in different ways. So whether you want it to be very uh, clear cut, like it just jumps right to it, you can click none. Ease in is just, it shows you right there how it's easing in, okay? And then you can ease out, that's showing how it would ease out. Uh, then ease in and out, that's showing you how it will ease in and out. And then the linear, okay? Where it just flows right into it uh, without any type of uh, easiness to it, okay? It just goes right to it, all right? So I'm just gonna keep it as an ease in, ease out, but I just wanted to show you guys about the timing. You can also delay it a little bit. Let's go ahead and delay it just a tad bit, okay? Just a tad bit. Uh, so let's see, the duration is gonna be 0.4. Let's make that duration a little bit more, like a 0.8, okay? So this right here is gonna be 1.6, all right? All together uh, in seconds, all right? So we're gonna have to exit that. Now we can hide any elements in here. Now, right now I don't have any elements that I want to hide, so I'm not gonna hide them. But if you wanted to, in theory, you can actually choose one of these things here to hide and just click that hide element. Now, if you do hide it, you can just come over to the hidden uh, on hover and actually find these elements here that are hidden on other, on excuse me, hidden on the hover, okay? And if you want to learn a little bit more, here's the Notorious Wix help, and you can just click learn more. But as of right now, you can just come here and click on the ones that you want hidden or click on the ones that you want shown, okay? And when you come over here to this hidden on hover box, you can actually click on one of them to show uh, on the hover, all right? Now, let's go ahead and exit out this mode. Here's the Notorious Wix help again. Uh, and then also you can just go inside of here and check things out. Like this is pretty awesome, very flexible uh, option that you have to choose from in terms of just a box, a regular box that you can do all this hover features on. And also with just a regular hover box, which I'm gonna actually gonna show you uh, a tutorial on that, which I'm a link right uh, in the right hand corner as we as I speak right now. And and as we are going through this together on this tutorial, I just wanted to let you guys know that I think that this feature is a lot better than the hover feature on the hover boxes. OK, now let me know what you guys think in the comments below about what you guys think about this hover effect. I mean, I think this is a very awesome hovering effect and different tools here that I can use in order to wow my visitors, okay? Now, so I just wanna show you guys how the preview would look. Uh, so before I even just get on out of here, I just wanna show you guys this preview, okay? Let's go ahead and preview this thing. 
All right, so I'm going to be sitting here. I'm going to scroll over the top of it. Boom. Whoa, look at that. Awesome. The delay of all of this stuff is beautiful. I, I really do love this and how it shows like find out more. It shows the bread. It brings out the it's simple pleasures in life. And then the bread decreases the box itself highlights itself man this is awesome like just coming off of it going back on there coming back off and it's easing in and out okay this is awesome there's nothing else i can say this is so awesome i love this feature and it definitely will wow your visitors for sure if you guys want to know more in detail about how you guys can structure things uh whether it's with uh, Corvid, uh, which is Wix code, or you guys want to know more in details of how you guys can find different properties and stuff like that. I'm gonna do that in another video, uh, but as of right now, I'm just trying to cut this video short. So I got, I guess like, you know, I'll do another one on this uh, and it'll be like uh, a Wix Corvid style, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, definitely give it a shot and if you have any questions like I said before drop it below thank you so much for watching you guys and if you like this video hit that like button subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you in the next video guys all right ciao